Hey y'all, happy Wednesday. So in talking about Mary, let's we'll shore out today, tomorrow and, and Friday. Um, we we have read her her song of praise in in Luke chapter one, where she has this encounter with Gabriel, of course, and he says, "You're gonna have a baby." <laughs> so we'll go there, and that starts in Luke one verse twenty six. And so now in the sixth month after that, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee named Nazareth to a girl never having been married and a virgin engaged to be married to a man whose name was Joseph, a descendant of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Hail, O favored one, endued with grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed, favored of God are you before all other women. But when she saw him, she was greatly troubled, disturbed, and confused at what he said and kept revolving in her mind what such a greeting might mean. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found grace, free, spontaneous, absolute favor, and loving kindness with God. I loved this from the Passion Translation where the angel is talking to Mary and it says, Mary was deeply troubled over the words of the angel and bewildered over what this might mean for her. And the angel reassured her saying, do not yield to your fear, Mary, for the Lord has found delight in you and has chosen to surprise you with a wonderful gift. And so we can tell already that when the angel comes and he tells her these things that, um, she is she's thinking what in the world's going on what might this mean and how what are you talking about and and all of these kinds of things and the angel i just i i want to take this in for me the angel says gabriel says do not yield to your fear you know and i wonder how many times <laughs> do we yield to our fear you know, and that fear keeping us from accepting, receiving the word of God, the promise of God, the plan of God, which could we see down the road? We would see that it was so much better, so much greater, so much um, just right for us than we ever could have imagined. Does that mean it's easy? Heck no. <laughs> we live in a fallen world. But it does mean that we'll have the grace to do what he's called for us to do. And just like Mary, when she was knit together in her mother's womb, she was created to bear Jesus. When he knit us together in our mother's womb, which he did do, he put within us everything that we would need to be able to accomplish what he's called and destined us to do. And so today, as Gabriel said to Mary, do not yield to your fear, Mary, for the Lord has found delight in you and has chosen to surprise you with a wonderful gift. I say to you and I say to me, Nancy Jo, do not yield to your fear, for the Lord has found delight in you and has chosen to surprise you with a wonderful gift. Do not yield to your fear. And so when Mary did not yield to her fear and she listened to the word of the Lord, which Gabriel has already had, you know, a moment with Zechariah when he said, you know, how do I know this is going to happen? Gabriel says in Luke 1 verse 20, he says, my words are of a kind which will be fulfilled in the appointed and proper time. He says in verse 19, the angel replied to him, I am Gabriel and I stand in the very presence of God and have been sent to talk to you to bring you good news. My words are words straight from the Father and they will be fulfilled. And so... No, an angel might not have come to you, but the Lord speaks to you. Where in the Old Testament, God was for the people of Israel because that's as close as he could get. And then here, Jesus comes and he is Emmanuel, God with us, because that's as close as he could get. But then after 
Jesus, death and resurrection and the Holy Spirit comes, the account we read in Acts chapter 2. He is not just for us anymore. He is not just with us anymore, but now the Spirit of God dwells within us. And 2 Corinthians um, tells us that he sounds the bottomless things of God and that he reveals things to us. This is um, actually 1 Corinthians chapter 2 tells us that this God's very spirit communes with us. And he says, we are not taught truths by human wisdom, but we are taught by the Holy Spirit. And so the God who was and is for us, the God who was and is with us, is the God who is within us. And so he reveals things to us. And so hear him say today, do not yield to your fear, for the Lord has found delight in you and has good plans ahead. And we'll pick it for tomorrow. I'll see you then. Bye, y'all.